everybody, welcome back to Lori Craves. Can you guess what I'm craving today? That's right, pineapple. Today I'm gonna teach you how to make this pineapple pretty. Also, you know how your mouth feels like it's burning when you eat fresh pineapples? There's a trick to avoid that, so stay tuned. It smells so sweet, I can smell it from here. First off, I'm gonna teach you how to choose a pineapple. When you, ow. <laughs> First of all, be careful not to get pricked. These are very sharp and spiky. So when you choose a pineapple, you should look for something that's a little greenish yellow, just like this. How you can tell a pineapple from whether or not it's ripe is the color itself. Look for green leaves and a firm shell. When you squeeze it, it should be like slightly soft but not squishy. When these parts start to yellow, that means it's very sweet. If it's still green, that means it still needs some time to ripen. So just leave it in room temperature for three to five days and it'll be good. Just give this area a sniff because you can really smell the pineapple concentrate of the sweetness and the aroma coming from here. <sighs> now we're gonna cut the pineapple. We're gonna start off by leaning it on the side like this. Find a steady side. I'm gonna make two cuts. One here, and one here. And then you're gonna spin it around, just like so. Pop it back up, so just be as thin as possible, because we're going for no waste. Don't worry if you miss some parts, you can go back and clean it up a little bit. But, oh, that's a huge chunk I cut off. Fudge. Try to be as clean. And oh my God, this smells so nice. So just like that. You see, oh, it's a little bit of blemish over here. We're gonna cut that out. Ta da! We're just gonna go around and then, like, get the little spots that we missed, just like this. This is the chunk I accidentally cut off earlier. Oopsies. This part is a little bit blemished. So I'm just gonna dig this out. Well, so much for making a pineapple pretty. It's kind of pretty-ish. Let's rotate it. There we go. This diagonal, cut it. And then just keep going along the diagonal. And just keep cutting. Watch your fingers. Perfectly cut pineapple, except for this ginormous hole here from a bruise. So, you know that rash you get on the top of your mouth from eating fresh pineapples? The reason that happens is because pineapples are a natural tenderizer. It contains the enzyme bromelain. Pineapples are commonly used to tenderize meat. So, yep, Ooh. you guessed it, it's actually tenderizing your mouth when you eat it. This went way better in my head. But here's a trick I want to share with you. My parents have always used this trick every time they cut pineapples for us and I've never gotten this burning sensation until I ate freshly cut pineapples that weren't prepped this way. Just sprinkle a teaspoon of salt into water and brine your pineapples for 15 minutes. It will help to take away some of the enzymes causing the rash in your mouth. My family actually likes the texture of the core, so I keep it in there. If you're not into it, just cut it.
And voila, your pineapples are ready to be devoured. Yum nom noms. Yay! This smells so good. Yummy. Mmm. Honestly, it doesn't taste any different, but it's way prettier to look at. Look at those lines. And you don't end up cutting like half the pineapple away, which makes me feel a little better because you're not wasting it, except for that little chunk I cut off by accident. You can eat it all in one sitting or you can put it in the freezer and then freeze it for smoothies. I ate half the pineapple by myself. Craving satisfied. My craving for pineapples has been satisfied. Sweet, luscious pineapple. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more recipes and how-tos, turn on the bell so that you can get notifications when I upload a new video. Let me know in the comments below what you're craving and maybe I'll make it. Enjoy! I've been shooting the entire day, you see? So many technical difficulties. No!